I'm Bill Monroe. Patriotic and historic observances were held on Memorial Day. At 9 Monday morning, the Citizen Cemetery on East Sheldon Street hosted their 16th annual observance. At 11, a tribute to fallen veterans was held in Prescott Valley's downtown entertainment district where wooden crosses had been set up. The city of Prescott kicked off its free summer concert series Tuesday night with a performance by the Jackson Jones Jazz Trio. All events in this series will be held at the Prescott Courthouse Square and run through September 14th. District 1 Representative Ann Kirkpatrick was in mayor on Wednesday afternoon. The congresswoman visited with the owner of the Spring Valley Pharmacy, where the two discussed how the federal government can better help small businesses. The Prescott Valley Town Council discussed an increase in the sales tax rate to 3%. Transaction Privilege Tax Auditor Sarah Herzog told council Thursday night the three categories that would be affected include restaurants and bars, hotels and motels, and the additional tax on transient lodging. On Friday morning, the Prescott Water Issues Committee discussed operational storage and releases, water quality sampling, analysis and management at Watson and Willow Lakes. The committee also discussed sediment sampling, analysis and dredging at the lakes. Former Yavapai County Attorney Billy Hicks was killed when he walked in front of an oncoming freight train. The incident occurred Monday night just after 9 near the Crookton Road train overpass east of Seligman. The 71-year-old Hicks served as county attorney from 1977 to 1980. The Prescott City Council Appointment Committee met in a closed executive session Tuesday afternoon to discuss some vacancies. The committee has recommended Sharon Nordyke to the Fire Board of Appeals through March 2013, George Sheets to the Advisory and Appeals Board through March 2012, and Flo Day to the Arizona Centennial City Committee, also through March 2012. On Tuesday night, it was determined a committee would be formed to address the Humboldt Unified School District staff dress code. Meet and confer committee representatives were before the school board to request a casual dress day, which would allow staff members to wear jeans that are in good shape on Fridays. The board tabled the decision until the committee makes a recommendation. And the Prescott Valley Town Council discussed a work plan for a Castle Canyon Mesa and Prescott East Sanitary Sewer District. On Thursday night, council members and Yavapai County Supervisor Tom Thurman agreed it's way past time to put a district in place due to failing septic tanks in the two areas. I'm Bill Monroe and that's your KQNA News Week in Review.